Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here with Ted. Uh, ready to do your Wednesday, February 12th to the 13th intuitive love tarot read. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. All right, I'm going to pull four cards here. Along with Ted. <laughs> and then I'm going to get a message from the angels. Ted decided to join your reading today. Get one more card. Please also note, ooh, two more cards, that time and energy are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. Okay, Pisces, we've got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Star card, and the Four of Cups. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, it is the Emperor. So let me get a message from the angels before we begin. <clears throat> okay, certain habits are going to be surfacing at this time. Or resurfacing they're saying be aware of this um, it could be habits that maybe you had given up and then all of a sudden they're returning like if you quit smoking um, if you quit sugar something like that uh, they may be resurfacing right now just be aware of that Yeah, they're saying don't, you know, you don't want to go backwards. You don't want to go downhill. Ooh, love can tear your world apart or turn your world upside down. Wow. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what we got here. Okay, Pisces, we have a message that you may be receiving. Uh, this is from a lover. Could be from a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody that just is displaying these attributes or has earth in their chart and this is a um, it is a love message it's not just like hey how you doing now the lovers card here is Gemini soulmate twin flame there was something that had come between you guys, the third energy. It could be a person, but it doesn't have to be. It can be an addiction. It can be, um, hmm, I wonder if that's why they mentioned old habits resurfacing. Pay attention to that surrounding this, this lover messaging you. Now, some of you may want this. Some of you may find it unwanted, right? Unwanted message, but... If your habit starts to resurface when this lover messages you, okay, that's that's a hint. You need to look at that and what triggered it, okay, so you can finally get to the root. I mean, that's a good thing. So you can be thankful for them offering you um, a chance for gaining some wisdom here in this area. Yeah, I don't know. Some of you may take them up on their offer or at least engage with them. 
Some of you won't. Some of you, it's been a wish for you to have this person contact uh, you. Now, the energy could be vice versa. You could be contacting them. It's going to resonate uh, for you guys all different ways. So let's see. And it could be in Aries with this emperor here. Well, Aries or Taurus, and this is uh, Earth sign. Usually it's Aries for me as a reader. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about this message. Tell me about this message, please. For Pisces. Tell me about this message for Pisces. What can you tell me about this? <laughs> Did you hear that? What's up, Ted? Oh, look what came out. The Emperor. Yep. Yep. So this is the Emperor messaging you. Wow. Wow. Okay. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers here. Tell me about the lovers for Pisces. Tell me about the lovers. Wheel of Fortune. They're wanting to hop back on the wheel of fate with you again. But this is destined to happen. Uh, this was destined to come back to you, Pisces. Not sure. Your, your stories are all going to be different. Now, it is possible, they just told me, that this could be somebody new. And it's sort of um, somebody... <clears throat> This person is a soulmate. Two of swords. You're not sure. You're in this indecisive mood. You're not sure what to do. Tell me about this four of cups. Tell me about this four of cups. Seven of swords. Oh, Pisces. Yeah. All right. This goes back to the patterns. Don't, if you had a pattern of running away, from sort of obstacles they're saying that come into your path or challenges, don't do it. Resist the urge to do it. Face this head on. If you say no, you say no, but don't just run away from it and ghost the person or, you know, just say no, just say no. Okay. Some of you, you're also afraid <clears throat> that this person is being sneaky, that they're coming back with an ulterior motive, right? Could have been trust issues that you had with this individual. Again, they're bringing up the patterns again. There's something about, um, think about the pattern, patterns of behavior that you now see, right? It's always when you're on the outside, you see patterns of behavior um, that need to be looked at. Okay, tell me about this star card. This is healing. This is a chance, even if you don't get back with this person, this is a chance for healing. Mercury is about to go retrograde. I don't think it's retrograde yet. It's in shadow. But people from the past come back. Two of Pentacles. The Sun card. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person is your happiness, or at least was at one time. Okay, you're thinking about rebuilding with them, but you're not sure. You're not sure if there's a third person involved. Things, many things are going through your head. But what you are sure about, Pisces, and this makes sense because you're very intuitive, you know this person's a soulmate at the very least. It could be a twin for some of you, but I don't have any twin flame cards here yet. Well, the lovers, soulmate, twin flames. But more soulmate, I'm feeling, from a past life. So what is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? Ooh. I just heard to shift, somebody, to, to shift something within this relationship. Strength. This is the card of Leo. Oh, they're trying... <laughs> Strength, temperance, they could have Sagittarius in their chart. 
they're wanting to change something in this relationship. They're trying to be brave and courageous with coming forward. They are wanting to heal. Three of Wands. They're willing to wait if you're not sure with this Two of Pentacles here. And I don't know if you guys will, I don't think you guys will know or will have an answer right away. This may need to be, yeah, Six of Swords. This person could be um, at a distance with, uh, you got a couple of um, distance cards here. You're thinking, you're going back and forth, Pisces. You're thinking about moving on. You want to move on to more peaceful waters. And in any, uh, however this ends up, you do want to heal. It, you both have that in common. You want to heal the relationship, Pisces. Okay? They don't want to let you go. Four of Pentacles. You could also be holding on to um, sort of a grudge, depending on what happened between you. Queen of Cups, you're debating <coughs> whether to open up to this person. What's your advice, Spirit, regarding this person? They are going to try to open up to you, King of Pentacles. They're wanting you to focus on whatever you're building. If you're building something for yourself, your foundation, okay? They're wanting you to focus on that first and foremost. They're wanting you to think practically when it comes to, um, they're wanting you to ground your decision. This makes sense. I don't know what's going on with Neptune. If it's going retrograde, which is your ruler. They don't want you to get, uh, you're a very dreamy sign. You're ruled by Neptune, right? So it's sort of a seven of cupsy energy where you can daydream and, you know, escape right? With drugs, alcohol, any escapist method, even love. I mean, that's an escape, right? They're wanting you to stay grounded when making this decision. Okay. So whatever you decide, just stay grounded while you're making this decision. Okay, Pisces, I hope you resonated with that. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fabulous day. Ted says bye, and I will talk to you tomorrow.